it's Sunday morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning, October 25th, 10.09 a.m. Don't get excited. I'm at the computer. Otherwise, I can't keep it straight. <laughs> um, I am just logging on, and I was double-checking some inventory at the Etsy shop. If you order more of once of something, more than one of something in the Etsy shop, don't be hesitant about making a notation. Hey, Gina, I've ordered multiples of whatever it is for whatever reason lately. And it's only happened to one customer, but it's happened to that one customer twice. She's ordered multiples of something and I've missed that quantity by one or two and had to send her a second package. My fault, my mistake. But yeah, so anyway, the kids are here to drop off Lily for the day. They're gonna go for a drive. Um, they're having a difficult time. Their furnace isn't working. We're gonna get a freezing temperature thing tonight. Their, Rebecca's car battery died this morning. Like it's just, you know, it's the year of Mondays. Anyway, I'm gonna go catch them and I'll be back. Okay, so I have a live broadcast with Patreons and YouTube membership supporters uh, in about an hour and a half. I need to start getting ready in about an hour, but we're gonna go for a walk first. We're babysitting Lily. So yeah, we're gonna go see if we can get her to burn off some energy. So, and I'll see if I can get some pictures to do more tone tan journal drawings from, so. Let's go see what we can see. I'll be back. So good Monday morning people, I guess for some. It is 8.05 a.m. and yes, I'm in the car. 
Um, so for those that don't know, I, I have crappy teeth. They're very cracked. All my molars are cracked. I have three crowns already and two teeth they were watching. I'm going in to get them evaluated this morning because I did something to them over the weekend and they're hurting. They're not feeling good. Um, but it feels like there's some nerve issue. That's not good. So I don't know if I'm getting them pulled or what is happening, but yeah. So we are headed over to the dentist the first thing this morning to get an evaluation and an examination and see what's going on. And they're gonna give me some recommendations for pain relief for the next 24 hours. And then tomorrow morning I go in at 10 o'clock and get them pulled or- Turn left on. I was just recording all that and the, oops, I should have gone that way. I was just recording all that and the camera wasn't on. So joy to me. So, Happy apocalypse. I get to get two more root canals. So tomorrow morning, I'm getting the tooth that's causing me some pain done. They're gonna prep the tooth behind it, which is one week they've been watching. And then next week, I'm gonna get the one behind it done. We're gonna not wait for it to be a problem. We're gonna just go ahead and fix it. Okay, so the ladies at Tigard Family Dental, I do appreciate them very much. They've given us good service. They um, drilled out my infected tooth um, that's causing the problem and I guess inserted some sort of uh, post with antibiotic on it inside and then sealed it back up again. And I'll be on um, oral antibiotics for a week with that post inside of my, sorry that's my keys, my tooth. And next Wednesday I will go back and they will finish the root canal on that tooth. The infection should be cleared up by then. And then they will crown it and they will crown the tooth behind it that's very cracked and cause has potential for other issues. So let's try to stave off those issues and or prevent them all together by putting a crown. So they're gonna do that too. So anyway, I'm all numbed up to crap and back. Um, I need to go home, I need to finish downloading the vlog footage, I need to have this guy behind me stop tailgating me. everybody it is 10 48 a.m tuesday october 27th can you see the ow swelling here yeah. anyway um the pain cocktail they have me taking while we're waiting for the antibiotics to do their thing work does work it doesn't get rid of all the pain um as you saw me just poke at it and go ow um but it does do well enough that I can sleep. So I did get some sleep last night. Although when it does wear off, that wakes me up and I have to go take more. So um, it's only day two of seven on the antibiotics. So it's going to take at least three days for the swelling uh, to start going down and the infection to start clearing up. So cross your fingers tomorrow. Some of this abates, but yeah, my cheek is like swollen. Anyway, fun times, right? I am upstairs, obviously. I'm looking at 
the website mochi things for things I don't really need, but I'm looking anyway. I'm going to edit the vlog. And um, I have another video on the SD card to edit, and I need to, I, yet again, it's like the end of the month, and I only filled, filmed the introduction to this month's challenge video for my Creative Years Facebook group. I didn't ever film a tutorial, so I'm going to try to squeeze one in this week before the week is over and the month is over. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Last night we had the family of raccoons visiting multiple times last night. Right, Fred? Right. He's just right telling me. Door. Right by the front door. Right Evidently, the right they the like this low-growing ground cover because they were eating it. Yeah, and just walking back, and I was watching him at the window. Yeah, and you'll notice, yes, puffiness. <laughs> Thank you, tooth infection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but we're on day two of the antibiotics. Hopefully by day by tomorrow, day three, it starts going down. I'll put ice on it when I get back. Um, we're going to go for a walk and get some steps in, because other than the tooth, I actually feel okay. Uh, but so we're gonna go go um, get some steps in and see what we can see, and I'll be back. everybody it's Wednesday morning uh, October 28th 11 26 a.m. I don't think I've vlogged yet today um, I filmed three short videos this morning um, two were for my creative year um, one is for YouTube and I haven't I haven't I just realized I haven't loaded it yet because I was worried about scheduling posts for November 1st which is fine I'll do it later um, cleaning up the art room doing today's um, art apocalypse drawing and that I don't know if you can tell the swelling is slightly down this morning I didn't wake up in pain which is progress uh, it's like the first day in like three days I think that I didn't wake up with like pain on the side of my face so I didn't take any pain medication until just a few minutes ago and it started to throb a little bit so I took some um so that's progress so Let's hope tomorrow I'm completely pain-free. That would be great. Good morning, everybody. Anyway. It is 7.54 a.m. Thursday, October 29th. I am up, obviously upstairs in the art room having my coffee. I can kind of smile. The swelling is much down over here. Um, so that's good. I'm hoping to get through the entire day and night today. And tonight, without any pain meds, I was, I took half the dosage yesterday that I did the day before, so let's hope so. Let's hope, I think we're on the right track. I think it's clearing up, so. Anyway, um, I had my morning cottage cheese, <laughs> and I'm working on my coffee. The cleaning lady is coming today, and as soon as she gets here, I'm going to go check the P.O. box and run a couple of errands. And yeah, I have to finish a, I didn't film any of it yesterday. Maybe I'll try to get some footage today, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I left it in the vlog or not, but um, last week when I was going to make my new art drawing bag, I uh, went to Hobby Lobby and while I was there, I got this coin purse handle top. So I decided to take a bunch of my um, English paper piecing hexagons and make a coin purse out of it. So I did this front piece yesterday. I'm going to do another side. And then we're going to do some like uh, bias binding around the edge to attach the two pieces together. Put obviously a lining. I put some 
fusible fleece on the inside to keep everything from unraveling when I cut it. I think it's gonna be cute. I'll try to film part of the process for you all for the vlog here. Um, I, of course, had to make a bunch of new hexagons last night because I used up a lot of what I had, which is fine, but yeah, that was interesting. So I did that and I think things are decently neat and straightened up up here so she can clean and uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna finish checking out social media and just finishing my coffee and the chair got stuck on the floor mat. Uh, finishing my coffee and hanging out until she gets here and all the things for the things. All right, I'll be back. It's just after 5.30 and we are gonna head out for a pre-dinner walk. I am 
my mouth is feeling much better. The swelling is almost completely gone. I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit like right here. Um, I haven't taken any pain pills today and it's very manageable. I, I'm not worried about the drilling in the crowns, but the tooth pain is just obnoxious. Yeah, so anyway, but that's all clearing up. I hit the start button. <laughs> hey guys, it is Friday afternoon, October 30th, I think. Yeah, 2.16 p.m. I, If you're watching this clip, you just saw a little clip. It looked like I was going through my ink pads. I was. So I realized when I was doing some stamping with some new products that came in, which we'll talk about in a different video, um, that I have a lot of stamp pads I was never using. I had some that were dried up and those are in the Project Pan art supply style box, the purge box. Um, I had some that just needed to go away. There's nothing wrong with them. I just never use them. And I also found a couple of like date word stamps I never use anymore. Um, so I think, so I have these two, these are going away. I know, right? Mostly, um, Distress Ink. I kept my favorite colors of Distress Ink. Um, I had a couple of, I had like three stays on pads, two of which I have reinkers for, which is good because they're dried up. Um, one I, I don't, so it's in the project pan to like throw out box. Um, the ones with the reinkers are in here. Um, I only kept the white one. Um, now the stamp pad part is pretty old and the reinker is pretty thick. Um, it's still sort of semi-usable, so I'm going to use it up. I am going to order myself a new one, though. Um, the Opaque Stays On is really the only one that I like. Um, and then I have some Archival Ink from Ranger, the Waterproof. I have a big, giant brown and a big, giant black. Reinkers for both. I have one of their small ones that I've kept, the Vintage Photo. Um, again, my favorite Distress Inks I kept. I have a few color box inks. I have a pretty blue and a pretty green that I like. Um, and then a color box, well, it sort of was a rainbow, but I've, you know, done that to it, stamping on it. Can you see that? Yeah, it's like really dirty. Anyway, um, and then I'm getting rid of my blending tools because I never use them. I like these instead, which are makeup brushes from Wish uh, or AliExpress or something. They're like, I think it's supposed to be a powder or blush brush, but it's great for blending ink and I love that. Um, so I'm going to keep these things. I'm going to reorganize it a little bit. These two are going to go in the pile of stuff that I have to put into priority mail purge boxes still because they haven't done that yet. <laughs> um, but I will be. And the, there's probably going to be two large size boxes and they're going to have ink, in, both going to have ink in them. The lids are taped on and the reinkers are in little Ziploc bags. So hopefully nothing leaks. Anyway. I'm going to answer whatever that is on my computer. Somebody is messaging me. I have to do today's art apocalypse drawing and I need to reorganize the ink that I'm keeping. I think I have an idea for doing that that's gonna be cute and functional and we better get to it. I'll be back.
So I can tell you all now and I can share some pictures. I am the newest designer with Art Foamies. I know, right? So I have a line of rubber stamp design, uh, rubber stamp, foam stamp designs over at Art Foamies, um, including um, a uh, zombie doll and among other things. And I'm gonna put a link below to their, web, not only to their website, but to um, the Art Foamies Facebook page where they had a video uh, playing with my stamps um, that are now in the line. And they showcased a few of their other stamps too that they have. Um, I love the new little pair of wings that KP just did. Uh, I might need some stamps. Anyway, um, I'll be sharing some pictures on my social media later of um, some things that I did when my samples came in uh, with the stamps that they sent me. And uh, so much fun. And I've already used one in a journal page uh, today um, that I didn't show you all yet because... Well, the video wasn't live yet, but I can show you now. Let's see if I can find it. It's in here somewhere. There we go. So this, this is one with the one, the moons one. I did the moons on, oh, there we go, on a jelly plate um, print. I did all of them on jelly prints. And um, they work great on the jelly plate. And I will be sharing that video soon um, and um, doing some live broadcasts and things with the stamps too. So look for that. And um, I, I will show you all. This is one of the ones that I, uh, I want to show you. This is one of the stamps that I did. I didn't think it could turn out quite right, but then I traced them out with a red pencil and stick a pin in me. Yeah, I'm done. I mean, you know. It just, yeah, so Art Foamies, who knew? All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. In case y'all didn't get a clue, we're out walking. It's not that late, but you know, it's winter in the Pacific Northwest, so it's pitch black outside. Anyway, walking by the Halloween house, trying to get myself some pictures without tripping and falling over something. I managed so far. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for the minute, I think. Discussing marketing and email blasting, the new Art Foamy collection with my daughter who is in marketing. If you need marketing help, I will, you can message me and I'll give you her contact information, her business page. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Everybody, it is 11:27 a.m. So technically, it's still morning. Saturday, October 31st, Halloween. 
we are headed out to go run a whole bunch of errands, including pay some bills and grocery shop and all of the things. Drop off donations. Drop off donations. Yeah, all of that stuff. I already took care of a bunch of business stuff, social media stuff, and um, some stuff that had to do with the new Art Foamies launch that happened last night. Um, this morning so that took up a chunk of this morning but that's all done so now we can just go out and run some errands and have a hopefully sort of semi-relaxing rest of the day maybe we'll see all right i'll hey be guys. back all right so it is saturday evening it's um after 5 30 i think it's almost six o'clock um we got all our errands done it was like a crazy time trying to get everything done the stores were jammed with people probably because of the election. Everybody's trying to get their supplies in before the world goes crazy again, because you know. <sighs> anyway, um, it's 2020, what are you gonna do? I got my last um, picture done for Art Apocalypse 2020, which was a challenge we were doing for the month of October over in my Facebook art groups, Life of Art and Self-Expression and My Creative Year. And um, it was, the color was red, so I drew an apple, why not? I do think after um, working with the surprise pencil stash I found um, in the art room that, um, uh, and over the month I've purged a few of the pencils, but I think the ones that I have here in my um, caddy on the art table, I'm gonna end up keeping. I do enjoy working with them, so I think I'm gonna keep them. Um, I'm going to put this in my box of journals finished journals for 2020. I'm gonna grab a new bigger moleskin cahier um, for downstairs because I'm gonna finish the daily drawing journal for the uh, regular monthly art prompts today because it's the 31st. And um, my sister, Elizabeth, um, who lives in Utah, sent me a very nice handwritten snail mail note. It was so cute. I loved it and it was very thoughtful and sentimental and such a joy to just get a snail mail note for no reason. And I had the thought and I haven't discussed it with her yet. So I'm gonna just write it and I'm gonna just send it and we'll see what happens. But I wish I'd thought of it months ago, but I think I'm gonna see if she wants to sort of do some kind of pen pal thing. Um, for as long as the craziness lasts in the world, um, someday we can take all the letters we've written back and forth to each other and put them into a book or a journal with some photos um, you know, and kind of commemorate happy or sad, <laughs> the crazy time that 2020 and the pandemic were going forward. Hopefully it doesn't go too far into 2021, right? Um, but I think that just writing notes back and forth like that with your loved ones, uh, it doesn't have to be a ton of them. It could just be one or two, somebody you really love and trust. Um, and, you know, if you have a beloved sibling or a best friend that you're not seeing, uh, you know, Texting and calling is all well and good, but what about just sitting and writing a note? I, just a plain old fashioned snail mail note. I think it's a good idea. Um, so I'm going to make sure I have a couple envelopes and some stationery downstairs. Stationery, right? Stationery, holy cow. Um, <laughs> uh, I may just use a pad of um, uh, white lined paper that I have, one of these mini one of these. Um, that's probably a good size and then folded in half it'll fit nicely in an envelope. So at least for the moment I've got this I need to use up so I might as well. And I do think somewhere around here there's another pad of it. Yep, see look. That I, I you know, I have paper all over the place. This is, you know, it's me people. I, you know, there's paper everywhere. So anyway, I've got more note pads in my desk evidently. Oh, yes, I do. Anyway, so I'm going to grab that and a couple of envelopes and bring them downstairs and, oh, stamps. Stamps, which I actually do have stamps. Um, I think it's a really good idea and it will help with some of what's going on, right? Um, also, not forgetting, if you're watching my channel, that means you're creative or you want to be creative. So... Don't forget to use your art as a way to work through whatever's going on, whether it's stress because of the world situation, your personal situation, it's mental or physical pain um, or frustration, whatever it is, happy or sad. Maybe it's a happy thing. Working out your stuff, your shit, in a journal 
Hello. It's not a bad idea. It's why we, most of us started doing this in the first place, isn't it? So do that. I want you to do that, all right? And we're gonna do more of that on the channel. And I'm so proud and pleased that the Art Foamy release um, of mine with, um, or with Art Foamies um, went over so well. It's been months and months and months in the making and I couldn't say anything to anybody. Um, and I wasn't exactly sure where it was gonna go, but now you know. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm so proud and pleased that you all received it well. I will put a link to Art, the Art Foamies website in the um, description below. Um, check it out if you will. And um, yeah, I mean, I think that's it for the week. Um, it's been an interesting one again, <laughs> you know, um, don't forget to check out the video description for not only the Art Foamies link, but my link tree list of links, which includes the, uh, my MailChimp newsletter, um, which will give you a preview of, um, upcoming sales and events, um, sometimes artwork. You never know what I'm going to just get up to in the MailChimp newsletter, so, um, there's that and also my Etsy store, Amazon affiliate links and all of that stuff. So, um, check out and on Instagram, if you want to follow and see what the kind of crazy creative stuff I get up to every day, not to mention my hashtag organ life pictures. I post all the time. So, um, check out my Instagram, follow me over on Instagram. Um, all the links for all of that are in the link tree list of links, which are down in the video description. If you have a favorite creative here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, if they do videos, they may have a way to support them in their video description. If they only do Facebook, maybe you need to private message them and ask, but I would really encourage you to support your favorite creatives. Right now, everyone is struggling, us included. That's it for right now. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Have a happy Halloween, everyone, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.